Thank you for letting me tune in. Thank you for letting me tune in. Today's the day we're gonna we're gonna think about and pray for all those kids that are being molested by their parents, parents, bath, body, and beyond. You know, you know, even though it's a tradition to you, you know, people, people from other places, they don't uh, watch APT. Like, they, they just don't. They don't watch Elmo. They they through with it. You know what I mean? Enough was enough with them, but I, you know, here your tradition goes on. I don't know if it's because you want to do ballet and maybe you go to the ballet and you get excited. I don't know what it is, you know. Maybe you go to Chuck E. Cheese and you lose your sense of how old you are. I don't know. Man. But only you know why you do the things that you do. And all I can encourage people to do is to please pray for those people that can't fight for themselves. Pray for the little ones, like, you know what I mean? Because little ones can only tell you when they older that they got done wrong. They don't usually tell you when they're young. They'll tell you when they get 20, 30 years old. You know, they'll start telling you that, you know, that something wasn't right when they growed up. You know what I mean? You know, and, uh, and all I can do is tell you in a place like this, you know, where it's like, like Stephen King's misery, where the law really ain't going to do nothing. You know, they not, you know what I mean? I'm just being honest. The law only attacks people that do stuff like yield signs and shit like that. They don't they don't go out the people that's raping folks and abusing folks. They don't. I'm just being a a man that's ha killing his wife on a daily basis slowly but surely. They don't intervene with that. But you know if you pass that yield sign or go to you run that stop sign, they'll take you downtown and process you. And they might lock your ass up, you know. What I mean? well, they serious about their traffic laws, ladies, you know. But all the other stuff, you're on your own. And, and you got to pray about it. Because, like, I'll say, for instance, I know one time they had used half of a precinct up because they had a big-timer event at a civic center downtown. They had a Bassmaster Pro Shop, and there was no danger in the area. But but on that day, every felon and, and uh, illegal immigrant is right down the street. They was getting away with everything they wanted to because they know all the big-timers from Prattville said, you know, Boss Hogs in town, we want y'all to come down here and turn your lights on. So it's stuff like that, man. Like, you know. And you see, law enforcement, they undermanned and they underpaid. So naturally, they have to go where they'll get some money. They get extra money for to go to Bassmaster Pro. And they just get regular wages for helping women that's getting their brains beat out. You know what I mean? So therefore, see, when they get saturated, they undermanned. They don't have enough men to go uh, help the woman get her ass beat. They have to go where Bassmaster Pro with their big hats and shit to get some money to subsidize where they losing. You know what I'm saying? But therefore, because nobody else ain't gonna do it. Most people don't want to be law enforcement. You know what I'm saying? So the few ones that they have, since they don't have no money, they have to go where Boss Hog tell them to go, because Boss Hog want to ride around in a in a Land Rover, and his wife wants a Range Rover. So therefore, a lot of people they die and stuff like that, and kids get raped and stuff like that illegal immigrants move in because boss hog has an event at the civic center where he's showing off his latest gadgets you know what I mean? well for some reason everybody said with or without the police there's never been an incident at big Ho at boss hog civic center you know what I'm saying? if that make any sense to you later so hopefully one day y'all can tell boss hog just to quit calling the police and let them go handle some other stuff because nobody ain't gonna do nothing to you you know what I'm saying? Nobody cares because you're on the corner uh, with your gadgets, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to intervene. Nobody's going to do nothing to you. You know how to cross the street. You know how to go across the street. You know you went. You got a driver's license. You know how to yield. You know how to wait till you turn into traffic. It, 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 I mean, I'm going to give you an example. You know, they got a thing downtown called the RSA Tower, and there's thousands of people there, and there's nobody directing traffic, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's nobody saying, okay, you know, we got Bassmaster Pro and Boss Hog here. They don't do that. And and the RSA Tower is an everyday thing. But those people know how to get in and out there without having special forces to help them. You know? If that makes any sense to you. you know? So please remember, ladies and gentlemen, always to remember that just because you're Boss Hog, you know what I'm saying? You know, you have to remember that some people need law enforcement more than you, Boss.